welcome to the wind turbine lab. Okay, so you find a bag with blades that are all the same shape and the same dowel length. Then you put them in this black thing. So they're the same number of spaces apart. You also have to angle them so that so that they're facing all facing the same way if you rotate it like like this. And then once you get the fans in place, tighten this so they don't they don't move during the experiment. You just set them to what angle, whatever angle your group ends up deciding to put. So once you've attached your blades to the hub on your turbine, you want to measure with a meter stick from hub to hub, the center of the fan to the center of your turbine, to make sure that it's exactly one meter apart. Um, you also want to make sure that the hubs are at an even height. So that's why we placed this turbine on top of some textbooks and the fan on top of a chair. That just makes sure the wind hits the fan directly. After you do that, you have to attach the wires from the turbine to the reader where we're gonna be re reading um, volts and amps. So you just wanna take the red wire, loop it around and attach it to the top of the other red, the other red wire. And then you're gonna do the same thing with the black. So the black wire looped around on top of this. This way just stays on easier and makes it easier to read the machine. So the first thing you do is you turn the fan on. We're using a big fan, so we set it to low, but we'll probably be using smaller fans. Then we wait for the turbine to start going. And then we get down to this multimeter, okay? So the first thing we're gonna measure is voltage. To do that, we put the black into the black terminal marked COM, and it's gonna stay there. And then we put the red into the rightmost red terminal. This is for voltage. Then we turn the multimeter on to 200 volts, and we observe the reading. And over the course of 30 seconds, you keep watching it, and whatever the highest reading is, you record that here. So we're getting like 2.4. Next, you're gonna measure current. So to do that, you switch the red wire to the terminal left of the black wire, and the black wire stays where it is. Then you turn the multimeter to 200 milliamps, and you begin to learn. Okay, so we're getting like, uh, I think the highest I saw was 34. So we're gonna write that down. And then we do a quick calculation, it's really easy. So you multiply volts by current to get power, as you see here. And uh, it comes out in a unit called milliwatts. And that's all you do.